Welcome to the presentation of Heidelberg Instruments. I am Dominique Collet, a customer application engineer specialist in grayscale lithography. And today I'm going to present maskless grayscale lithography. We are a world leader in the production of innovative high precision maskless aligners and laser lithography systems. We have an extensive know-how in developing customized photolithography solutions. We focus on high quality, high fidelity, high speed, and high precision patterning systems. Heidelberg Instruments was founded in 1984, so we have 37 years of experience. With more than 250 employees worldwide and still growing, the company will relocate to larger facilities this year. Our product portfolio ranges from tabletop systems, our entry-level tool for R&D, to larger rear pattern generators for the fabrication of masks and displays. We have three families of system, MLA. MLA stands for maskless aligners. They bring flexibility to lithography without the time and cost constraint of a fixed mask. A design can be modified minutes before it is exposed on a wafer, for example. We have the DWL family with the DWL 66 plus and DWL 2000 up to DWL 8000. Those are, are our high resolution pattern generator for direct 2D and 2.5D writing. The Ultra is our semiconductor mask writer with high throughput, high precision, and high uniformity. The VPG Plus, our multi-purpose volume pattern generator, is suited to produce photo masks, especially large ones. The DWL series is the most appropriate for grayscale lithography. It is fast and flexible with a pixel grid down to 50 nanometer and 1024 gray levels. The principle of grayscale lithography is to expose a substrate coated with a photo positive photoresist and we expose it with a modulated UV light and the exposed resist will, be, will become soluble, and after development, the intensity gradient is transferred into a topography. Afterwards, this resist topography can be transferred to the substrate itself via etching or to a different material by replication when the resist topography is used as a master. Our DWL systems are perfectly suited for the fabrication of freeform optic, wafer level optic, and other fancy ideas. As you can see on the left side, our machine can use multiple design formats, DXF, STL, images, and text file. To prepare the exposure of one or several design one first needs to convert them into machine data. Several designs can be merged, step, repeated, rotated, one masking another with our conversion software. It outputs combined data for one single exposure. Here we can see a typical process from an idea to the desired structure. So the first idea here is a macro lens array or one array of cones cut into an hexagonal shape. So first, what we need to do is to create a pair of cones cut into hexagon in a CAD software and save it as STL, for example. Then with our conversion software, High Convert 3D, we can array it to create a small test array. And later on, we can create a very large array for the final product. 
the nonlinear response of the photoresist must be compensated. So the structure shape until the structure shape match with the design. So we use a cross section profile for the tuning. Here we see the cross section that will be used for the tuning. So we see a triangle, the connection between two cones, and then another triangle across the following cone. With an iterative approach, the gray value distribution is modified until the resulting profile matches with the target. At first, we use a linear gray value distribution. And when we expose our design with this linear gray value distribution, we, we see that the resulting profile is, uh, doesn't match with the target. So this is due to the nonlinear response of the photoresist. And what we have to do is to modify the gray value distribution to compensate this nonlinear response. And with an iterative approach, after a few iterations, we can obtain a profile that matches perfectly with the desired shape. Here yeah, we see the cone. So once we have those parameters, we can convert a large array of this uh, array of cones and expose it on a, on a large substrate. So this is what is important is that there is an, a resist response that is not linear, but we can compensate that with a nonlinear value distribution. So because the iterative approach for the shape optimization can be time consuming, our collaboration with Genesis makes this process a lot easier. Genesis makes proximity effect correction software for eBeam and also for direct laser grayscale lithography. The software needs four inputs, some resist and tool parameters, a contrast curve, the design and its associated target depths. So um, here on the left, you can see the contrast curve. It is made after a single exposure test the depths obtained with, from, with a few representative gray value is measured and interpolated to cover the full range of gray value from zero to 1023 in the case of uh, our 10 bit system. And then Beamer, the software from Genesis with the 3D PEC option recalculate the design and optimize it to compensate the nonlinear response of the resist and various proximity effects. It is very powerful for irregular designs. So applications are mostly in micro optic, but this is already a wide range of applications that could be classified into different types. MLA used in wave front sen sensors, for fiber coupling, for light homogenization, Fresnel lenses, oh, sorry, Fresnel lenses used to reduce lenses volume for mobile device and miniature camera. Diffractive optic used to modify your face profile to split and shape a laser beam to create complex data. Diffusers and reflectors used to control light, diffusion, reflection for some illumination device, for some backlights, for example. Blaze grating used for monochromators, spectrometers, sensors, and communication. Other applications like textures, surfaces, MEMS, and MOEMS, and also some decorative effects. The decorative effect can also be used for security purposes to create some designs that are difficult to reproduce for marketing purposes, for branding protection, but also for high security printing, such as official documents and banknotes. So here about the traditional pair of questions from Epic, what we can do is uh, what we can do for you is to define and customize the best suited system for your application. We can produce a test sample with your own test design. We can share our extensive know-how in designing and processing. 
We can give in-depth training to get the most out of your tool, and we can give support throughout the lifetime of our machines, of your machine. And what you can do for us is um, you can give us some new challenges with uh, demanding applications. And, and you can also provide solutions for fast and easy 3D measurements, because this is sometimes challenging for us. You can suggest new photoresist, new equipment and processes. So I thank you. And um, if you need more information, do not hesitate to contact us through our webpage, himt.te. Thank you very much for your attention.